Hi, this is a short video on how to make your own gel electrophoresis unit. Gel electrophoresis, as some of you know, is pretty useful for separating molecules based on charge, DNA, RNA, proteins, used a lot. So I'm going to describe the different steps to make your own. This is the unit I made, pretty close to uh, professional quality, so I'm genuinely happy on how it turned out. In SketchUp, I drew the part, starting from the right, gel combs, then in the middle is the tank, left is the electrode holders. The electrode holders are like plastic plates, removable ones, so you can change the electrodes if you have shortage of some materials. The gel tray is where the gel will be held through which the molecules will pass through under current. And you can see grooves cut in the end, so that'll hold a gasket, and the gel tray fits both ways inside the uh, holder, so you can cast your gel. When you cast your gel, you put combs inside, so these are two headed combs, you can have different sample sizes. Here is assemble with the gel tray and the electrode holders, and you'd be filling it with buffer and running it. So let's start with the gel tray. So the gel tray is a simple C-shaped kind of uh, 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 structure, uh, and it's, uh, you can see there are slots cut in the sides, so that'll hold the uh, combs. I use a circular saw with a plywood bait to cut the acrylic. It's five millimeter thick acrylic, work well, reasonably well, uh, smoothish uh, edges. Uh, I cut the slots, uh, the small slots on my bandsaw that produces genuinely smooth cuts. It was quite good. Uh, so on the right, you can see the pieces cut for a gel tray. Uh, these are just, again, very simple. On the left is a, a six inch square, which will form the base of the whole uh, electrophoresis unit. Uh, surprisingly, this goof of stuff I bought from Harbor Freight acts as a pretty good uh, glue slash fusing agent. I first put little drops to hold the pieces temporarily together and then fill the capillary gap with more solvent and it worked very well. Here, it's hard to see, but you can see a slot cut on the edge of the plastic which will hold the gasket. So the next step is making the electrophoresis tank that holds everything together. Uh, this was again made from vertical acrylic pieces that rest on that horizontal six inch square that I showed you before. Uh, so two sides were glued together and the one cross side was put that would hold the two sides together. Uh, so that this is the tank with three sides. And uh, you never know whether you have a leak or not, right? So I filled it with water to make sure nothing leaked, uh, seemed okay. I was pretty happy with that. Uh, then I put the fourth side on. It was slightly small, maybe by half a millimeter or so. so I was a bit c concerned. And yes, when I did the leak test, it did leak. There was uh, a droplets coming off over time. So I, uh, what I did was pretty nice. I actually took that goof of solvent, put scrap pieces of uh, acrylic in it. So it formed this gooey mass. I pu put this acrylic jelly into the insides and it just filled in whatever holes them or gaps there might be. So the leaks were fixed. So that worked out quite well. Uh, and then uh, the gel tray was sliding inside the gel box outside. I put little uh, vertical plastic scraps that would prevent the gel tray from sliding around. So in the next kind of image, you'll see what that looks like. Again, I use goof off to glue the plastics together. So here you can see the vertical pieces uh, that are right there uh, that hold uh, the, the gel tray and also support the electrode holders, which you'll see, I think, in the next uh, next step. So now I'm making the electrode holders. And here I cut uh, two essentially slabs of acrylic, uh, which were the white of the width of the tray. That's around four inches. And to this, I would be attaching uh, plug holders that would hold the electrical plugs and of course the wire that would pass the current into the thing. I had uh, these two plugs in my scraps, so I just decided to use them. Uh, and I cut L-shaped pieces from, pra uh, from the uh, scrap piece of acrylic that I would connect to uh, the electrode holder. So I drill holes for the plug sockets on my drill press and then I glued it on onto the onto the electrode holder, which I'd obviously cut on my circular saw and band. So I had this platinum wire for quite a while. It's 36 gates, it's pretty thin, almost thin like thin hair. So I, I drilled holes in, in the plastic with a hot needle 
and then threaded the wire in from one end to the other and then the other end close to the plug i threaded the wire through the hole attached a piece of uh, kind of plastic uh, tubing which would prevent uh, electric current being uh, carried you know through through into the electrode from the vertical wire and then i would be connecting the platinum wire to the plug socket with solder uh, i obviously did the same steps and the holes in the where the wire passes i put my acrylic goo that would kind of keep it in place so i soldered it i'm not sure where the solder actually connects platinum but at least a physical thing and then the exposed electricals i covered with the ends of ballpoint pens you can see it on the right cut a slot in those and then filled it with hot glue and just kind of uh, pressed it over the exposed uh, electrode areas next step was making the gel combs uh, so these are held in the gel tray with uh, acrylic cross piece and then there are two sets of combs in one thing so you can either use big sample wells or small sample wells or depending on how many samples you have just flipping it around I was fortunate to have a plastic box which was approximately the right dimensions i was looking for so i put this in the microwave with water heated it it survived quite well so that was a big relief as it would hopefully survive the hot agar or that it would pour it i cut it on the bandsaw uh, to the right vertical height i drew a template of you know where the slots for the wells are glued it on to the thing and then cut the slots on the bandsaw nice thing is because it was a box shape i was in one cut i was essentially getting two slots done so twice the efficiency uh, i then removed the paper smoothed the uh, rough edges you know from the saw with a file and a thin sandpaper and then i did a, a, a caster gel by the way the slots are held with a screw on the cross beam you cannot see it from this angle this is a first gel made out of gelatin not of agaros i didn't have any at that time put dye in there turned on the current and uh, yes you're getting a pretty good separation you can see the bubbles coming out on the right in the previous photograph i put it at 20 volts 20 milliamps because i use salt pretty stupid salt also generates chlorine so i had a strong smell of chlorine bands begin to separate but because of the chlorine i decided to stop it the next video i'll show you more details on how to do an agar rose gel thanks for watching and hopefully you will build your own